So what's up? How's everybody doing today? Good, glad to hear it. But today we are talking all about what I am eating post show. And now you're probably expecting like a, a, a show breakdown video and that is coming, but I gotta get to stage photos. It's taking forever for the media company to send me the stage photos and I need those to be able to do my own breakdown, kind of analysis, make the thumbnail epic. Obviously, of course, you know this and I'm gonna be able to post them everywhere. So I'm still waiting on that and I need the judges scorecards, all those kinds of things. I'm going to great lengths to make that video very, very amazing. But with that said, if you have any last minute Q&A questions about prep, maybe some of them are weird, some of them are wacky, go ahead, ask me anything down below. Make sure to mark it, label it for the Q&A. But anyway, back to the topic at hand, what am I eating post show and how am I controlling that rebound. So I roughly stepped on stage at about 170 pounds and as of this morning I was 174.8 and as of me filming this video it is exactly one week post show. So I've put on about five pounds in one week which I think is personally amazing and I'll go through all the things that I did to ensure that success because that was one of the things I was super worried about because I see a lot of first time competitors it's scattered over YouTube 30 pounds in two days 20 pounds in a week things like that and I did not want that to happen to me so I took great lengths and great measures to make sure that it did not happen but with that being the case it does not mean that I have had zero problems and everything has just been sunshine and rainbows because it has definitely not been the case I would say for the past week I have had a ton of distress and digestive discomfort due to all the new foods that I have been eating because your body gets so used to the habits of what you're eating and digesting what you're putting in it and it's like I've been putting rice, oatmeal, lean protein and that's some vegetables. That's about it for the last three months. And so when I got back, I really incorporated a lot of the foods that I had been missing, all healthy by the way, but nonetheless different. And I incorporated them all so fast and in such high quantities that my stomach just didn't know how to deal with it. And I had a ton of bloating, a ton of digestive discomfort, just like pain and soreness in that area. Mainly I would assume from all the fruit that I was eating, because that was the main thing I had when I came home. It was like, I was going crazy on the kiwis, the strawberries, the, the orange, the bananas, the cherries, all these different things, the carrots, the apples, all these different fruits and vegetables that I had been missing while being on prep, I kind of just came home and started stuffing my face with them. And I didn't really see a problem with that because they're super healthy, but fruit is very acidic and so it kind of wrecked havoc on my digestive system. And because I had been coming from my diet where I was just eating like a banana a week, it, uh, yeah, it led to problems. But weight gain was not one of them. So along with incorporating a lot of other foods that I enjoyed back into my diet, the main change I made was I had foods that took a long time to eat because I don't know what it is, but it's not that I was starving necessarily. I just wanted to keep eating. It was fun. It like it, it didn't like make me feel better. I just like wanted to do it. It's kind of hard to describe. I wasn't starving or anything like that, but like I wanted a snack to like keep enjoying over a period of time rather than just like having one bite of ice cream and being boom done. So incorporating huge salads, incorporating huge bowls of popcorn, wraps back into my diet, things like that. And then I'm gonna slowly taper those off as I get into my off season and I'm churning through way more calories because my calories are only up a couple hundred versus what they were on the day before the show. And I'm sure I'll talk about this more, but I did not have a single cheat meal after my show. I still haven't had one because I need to control that rebound because it can be super, super dangerous post-show because one thing people don't realize is that it is so difficult after the show to remain disciplined. It is so easy to be like, nope, I'm not gonna eat before the show because you have this huge deadline, this huge event that you are like committing to. You have so much money, time, effort, blood, sweat, tears, all invested into this. It is very easy compared to after the show when you've won, you did really really well you're very very proud of yourself everybody's proud of you everybody's giving you compliments right it's so hard especially when that food is healthy do you understand how mind-blowing difficult it is to tell yourself no I can't have extra apples I can't have extra blueberries I can't have extra popcorn I can't have extra chicken breast or whatever 
yes, you can get big and you can gain weight from eating too much healthy food. And it is just my, I can't describe how difficult it is to not justify having those things to yourself when you just did well at a show, you're controlling your rebound. It's like, it's just so hard to not be like, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot more than I probably should. I'm also making sure that I'm continuing to do cardio five to seven times a week, not nearly as intense, but I'm doing it for longer periods of time because now that I'm working back into my off season, I'm starting to put muscle back on, I'm starting to focus on really building strength and really giving my all in my workouts. Not that I wasn't before, but now it matters a whole lot more because now every day counts trying to build that muscle. So I'm doing longer cardio sessions, lower intensity, still equals a whole bunch of calories. Now, I will say that I did have a few cheat snacks here and there. Like when I got home, I think the first thing I had was fruit. Obviously, I had a ton of fruit when I got home, but I had some like chips and some salsa. I had a few chips and salsa, and then that was about it for the night. And then I went to bed, and then I had, you know, maybe a little bit of stuff here. I think I had like a, a little bowl of cereal the next day. But if you are one of those people who's just like, you get off the stage or whatever, and you just have to have a cheat meal, or you're like, you're craving stuff real, real bad, I would say to try to push it as far as you can because think of it this way if you have a huge binge the night after the show you are going to explode because your body's just so sensitive to everything that you're gonna put in it versus if you take as many days as you possibly can whether that's two three four five or an entire week and then you have your cheat meal you're gonna be in a much better position because your body's not just gonna be so shocked by all the extra sodium and all the extra liquids you're gonna be drinking so you're not gonna pile on you know 10 20 30 pounds in a matter of days or weeks so I think that that is one crucial strategy that a lot of people overlook and don't really give a lot of attention attention to so do not have garbage at the ready after you get off your show and I don't think I got some footage of it but again I'll probably talk about this later but there was a table of just crap at backstage after the show for when you got off and I did not have a single thing off that table and I just I just don't see the point of that that is just like binge central because people who can't really handle themselves like it was a table full of like ice cream sandwiches and and cookie sandwiches and cupcakes and cake and brownies and it was just a endless table and if you do that you are setting yourself up for failure and like damn near depression because of the way you're going to look and the changes you're going to see happen in a negative direction in like a matter of hours or days you're going to feel like trash you're going to look like trash you're going to be like oh my god what happened i looked like a god two days ago and now i look like i don't even know what a gym is However, not everything in my routine has changed. I still have kept my pre-workout and post-workout nutrition almost identical, and those will probably be almost always identical year round, no matter what I'm doing, cutting, bulking, anything. Just because that time around your workout is so precious, it is so important that you lock down your nutrition more than, than I would say, than I would argue any other time of the day. So I always keep the carbs quickly digestible, the protein quickly digestible, pre and post and I added a tiny bit of fat in the beginning and then maybe something very very quickly digesting right before my workout like a rice cake with jam something like that because I'm really really prioritizing my workout intensity even though I might be eating too many calories or eating more calories than I know that I need for that workout like if I'm only gonna burn X amount of calories but I'm eating double that before my workout that doesn't matter to me because I'm tapering off my intake throughout the rest of the day so I really don't care it's calories in calories out but I'm really packing around a lot of carbohydrates Hydrates, a lot of quickly digesting, easy digestible foods around my workout. And I think that that is an amazing strategy no matter who you are. You do not want to go into the gym bloated. This is just the one time where I suggest that you nail down your nutrition, even if it is a little boring. And even if you don't do it, it's not going to make a massive difference. But I'm chasing that 1%. I'm chasing that 2%. That's the whole reason that I'm in this game and I'm trying to get as good as I possibly can. So if you're trying to get as good as you possibly can, then I recommend locking down your nutrition pre and post workout and if you need it or you train hard enough or you're training faster then go ahead and have some intra workout nutrition where you're able to drink some quickly digesting carbs to be able to fuel you through like a hard workout but that's only for the most advanced of you and if you don't actually train hard enough to need that then uh, don't consume it because it's gonna be kind of a waste of calories especially if you have difficulty overeating And of course, we got the lovely Coke Zero diet drinks in general back in the diet plan. Mm.
Those got pulled out about six weeks out and as well as all sweeteners, no Splenda, no sugar-free syrup, nothing. Absolutely no sweeteners and so it's good to have this kind of stuff back in the diet because I really, really do enjoy it and again, when you don't binge on sugar and have a ton of sugar in your diet, these things do legitimately taste good. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm eating a lot of high volume foods that are still healthy and not like actual garbage and like guar gum bombs and nothing like that. But we got the big salads with a ton of different vegetables, cut out the croutons though this time because I ate a little bit too much yesterday and actually that, I'll call it my cheat meal, you guys saw that uh, big steak that was one week after the show, like exactly almost like the hour and I was like, you know what? I wanted a big piece of beef. It was good. I enjoyed it. I cut out the carbs in that meal to kind of like keep the calories under control and then we just have some chicken with a tiny bit of ketchup and again you're not gonna get fat eating this way and I think I really took the opportunity to learn from other people's mistakes and not make the same like rebound mistakes that you see from a lot of these first-time competitors so that makes me very very happy these are the strategies I'm implementing post show be looking out for the next video I'm very very excited to get those stage photos and be able to do my own breakdown and analysis of everything getting the scorecards all that kind of stuff to put it together for you guys but until next time I'm gonna end the video here my name is Kevin. It's my pleasure to bring you this video. Till next time, guys, make sure you get out there and get after it.